Hi there. Hello. There we go. It was um, not giving, BeLive was giving me issues trying to pick a page. It wouldn't load Facebook. That's not very nice of it. <sighs> no, with all of Facebook's issues, their API is just very difficult to work with right now sometimes. Why is that? Security. They I see. Cambridge, Atlantica, where they locked them down. Um, ads have been all over the place. Groups have been all over the page. Facebook Live has been all over the place. They had the recent breach of over 50 million API or the They've been busy beavers. Yeah, really. How is your morning? Uh, it's good. I went to the DFW Technology Prayer Breakfast at the uh, Irving Convention Center and was okay. Is that just, a big thing? There are 900 people there. That's a lot of people. You said convention center, so I was like, normally yeah. that's a big deal. It was a big deal. <clears throat> big deal, great uh, speaker, former CEO of uh, Popeye's Fried Chicken. Okay. Great talk. So it was good. A morning with Popeye's fried chicken. That's always a good start, right? Yeah. It was, it was a good talk. What are we doing today? Uh, I was just trying to get out of the parking garage. So <laughs> I haven't thought past that. I got, I got out of the parking garage. Ah, well. What are we doing today? We had um, talked about uh, finishing up. Okay, we have a good spot for a while. Yeah. At least till next week. And then I'll do her separately. I think uh, there was a couple things on Dwayne that we had talked about. Yeah, he needs email and a lead magnet completed. Um, and then we could do membership for the dojo. Yeah. U plus one stuff. Yeah. Pick your poison. Well. I'm always game for you plus one, but I'm, but is there something for the dojo or anything that needs to get done? Well, maybe post haste. Hop around a little bit and see what is missing. Okay. Um, a technology review. A technology review. Let's get a screen up here. I out the elements of a high converting landing page. And I was working on one yesterday that was for brick and mortar. I say brick and mortar because everybody, whenever you talk about brick or mortar, people talk about how, oh, it's different. <laughs> your, your fancy internet stuff doesn't work on me. It's different. So yeah. here's one. Now all the links aren't perfectly done like the blog takes you over to you know a very not finished now it's going to run slow um blog so this is a kind of a new format we're going to be going to where the blog is on a separate domain and then everything's a funnel page for our clients but right. we've got just enough information up here and most of it is only what's apple absolutely critical for the client to see so we have um critical elements of a high converting landing page. Your primary call to action should be highlighted everywhere. So it's in the top right hand corner. I want them to schedule now, book now, schedule now, whatever you want to call it. Nice. Next one is going to be a phone call and this is a linked button. So if I push this, it will actually go ahead and call. I do have the blog and the blog's main point is going, I have three kids home today too. What do you need? Yes. Yes. I can't. I'm glad I have three kids here today. Why? Why? Because it shows you can do anything under any circumstance. No excuses. That's right. Um, but the blog is mostly going to serve as additional information that's not going to fit on our funnel pages. It's going to serve as information and content we can email out on a regular basis, and it's going to serve as search engine optimization. Um, there's not a whole lot of need for extraneous information on your web pages. Other than that, services, we might want to let people know what we actually do. 
And then just the home button, because it's going to be on all pages, it's the idiot button, right? Right. Refined men's salon. That could be repetitive. I might want to put something else a little bit more um, call to action-y. I'll look at that later. And then something that speaks to the after. So we've got a guy here in the background. He's all polished up. His hair's all trim. His beard's all trim. They want to see the after effect of what they actually want, right? right. No. Nobody wants a blade that could like chop his neck off. Um, what they want is the after of nice hair, clean beard. And then something that tells them exactly what they're doing. And again, the end goal, why? When the lion mane needs to be trimmed for first, and I actually took out Beth for first impressions. Because that's why, and correct me, I'm wrong, your guy, if you're going to go get your haircut, why do you get a haircut? To look neat and tidy. But why do you want to look neat and tidy? Well, so that you're attractive to the people you're trying to be attractive to. Why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> why? Like, again, that's my probably my favorite question is always just why. Breaking it down all the way down. Well, it could be personal pride. It could be a lot of different things. I mean, that you just have, you have pride in yourself. You have pride in your own look. You have uh, pride in how you're representing yourself uh, to others. Pride, you might not care about others, quite frankly. You might, I don't care how, what anybody else thinks of me. I just want to look this way because I want to look this way. Fair so enough. it could be a lot of different things, right? Yep. The first bar under the main, um, above the fold, above the fold is that reference back to the newspaper, right? When the newspaper was folded in half, right. all the good stories went on the top. And if you ever noticed too, they would start a story and then they would give it like, oh, finished on page like 22. Um, but just under the fold, you want a trust bar. So for a speaker and for like you and Sean, that might be like all the different places you've been featured. Um, it could also be pictures of people because I know you've been on the stage with some pretty impressive folks. It could be pictures of who you've been on stage with. So for them, these are actual pictures from their studio. Nice. I, I try to use their play. No, it's from them. It's these are not stock photography, but showing exactly what they do, but actually showing that you know it's not their first haircut that other people are coming in there for it. Now this one I kind of like. The next step would typically be, what are the steps? Um, this is where I brought some of the client's wishes. I have some more testimonials in here, um, the different things again. I kind of broke away from the template and then a ton of client testimonials. These would probably be better broken up with some more content, but I want to show and kind of overcome some of the objections. There was some issues with them being one brand and moving to another brand, and I want to show that they have done work and, you know, people like them are those those looked like yelp uh, yelp comments is there are those a are? couple of them so we've got like this one is facebook as was this one right. up here. i guess they are screenshots because i think you've got over here and then we have some google over here so I don't typically highlight the Google ones because as of now, Google does not um, hunker down on the quality of their reviews. Right. Which is not to say this company, this companies are fake. It's just saying in general, Google reviews don't necessarily have the same trustworthiness. Um, I would argue Facebook, a little questionable too. There's nothing that's going to like kick you There's off. There's no policing, you no yeah. policing authority. Is that kind of yeah. what you're saying? Yes. And then Yelp is policing authority. Um, there is rumor, though, that Facebook and Google will run in their footsteps. Take it to Caitlin. There are a couple of strawberries that are bad. But And then down at the bottom is where you get to dump all your information. So this page is actually changed. So let me go ahead and pull up the first one or the new one. So we have, like, the home page. Um, I'll link an about page that's completely separate with all the different stylists blog, a phone number again, and then we'll link all their different services, all the grown-up lawyer stuff, and their social media. 
their social media right now is it's not it's not so great that you want to like put it you know front and center this is obviously not a haircut that they've done um, trick-or-treating yeah. that's unique yeah, I, yeah it's not I don't even know what this is oh that's a video and better done um, take off the logo from pick collage it seriously costs a dollar 99 people if you're dead broke that's fine but if you're a hair salon charging forty four dollars a haircut pay the dollar 99 yeah exactly <laughs> get some people to smile what is it with men and smiling you got the boys smiling um, so there are certain things that making sure that you treat your Instagram like a magazine almost and until then, keep it down at the bottom. But just as that would actually that actually is a uh, again a very valuable piece of information right there is you know I've got a friend who describes all the socials and he's got a very simple way of doing it. You know, Twitter is you're in a very noisy bar. Hey, how you doing? That's it. You know, Facebook is the uh, family barbecue in the backyard, a little more friendly. LinkedIn is you're riding up the elevator and nobody's talking to anybody, but they're just all in the business setting there. You know, they're going up the tower. So, I mean, but it, things that you can relate to. So when you just said that, that Instagram is a magazine, it's just another great way of describing um, kind of a context to think about. That's interesting. Your, your communications in each of those places. So we've got, you said Facebook is the bar family barbecue, which would make sense. You love yeah. each other, you hate each other, but you're all there for some good barbecue. Yeah. You're and there's more conversation going yeah. on, more pictures. It's, you know, whatever. Twitter is, you're, you just walked into a noisy bar. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Sup? You know, yeah. there's not there's not really a whole lot of uh, now since it's gone to to uh 280 characters that's changed a little bit because the messaging got but it used to be very tight concise uh, not very complete communication and then linkedin is again as if you're riding up a, an elevator in an office building everybody's just standing there they're really kind of trying to avoid each other but they can't because they're all in the same proximity that makes sense Huh. I have to think of one for Twitter. I don't love the one for Twitter being a noisy bar. Well, I think it I think Sister. in you know, back in the day when it was 140 characters, I think it really was. You you had to abbreviate all the words. You had to to get any kind of messaging through, you really had to be very cryptic. I think now the number of characters for me, it's the content of Twitter. To me, it strikes me um it's politicians and journalists following politicians it's sports it's people who are putting out the worst of the worst they stuff they don't want at the family barbecue that they don't want in the elevator well that's what i'm saying though but and i think i, I agree with you i just think the messaging has changed yeah. once they doubled the character count it allowed for more sentence structure more structure and therefore a different user group took advantage hmm. of it. That's fair. Um, I, I like to see where Twitter is going. I know they're purging their fake accounts. Hey, Caitlin, come get Bella. Yes, I know she said she could have it, and then now you're opening it by the dog. Um, so I've got this whole automation. This is the game logic fear automation that we put. Um, pretty much if you have a lead magnet, this is the one that I'm adding to you and you can see it, of course, it's taking everybody out and you can see we've already started to put people, um, she's already put people in. Nice. So right here, we've actually got two people who just went in. Guys, in the room, in the room, room, room. Um, so just in the last five minutes, she's gotten two people into hers and you can like track people like this She has That's one that cool. came in within the last two days 
we're not immediately selling anything. So nobody is being split off to being in the EPO list, except for the people I put in yesterday, but those same people did not get added to the lead magnet list. And then we have that hundred days that we're just waiting for a person because what we have not created for her is the actual sales page for her online um, training have is actually meet with her for 20 minutes. But that's a lot of automation. So that's what needs to be finished with hers. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Let's see where you plus got I didn't have anything. You got kicked off. Let's go ahead and log into yours. Let's see where you guys are at. I was trying to figure out what would how long would it take to build a full and complete machine in for one company all at once. Everything included except for the actual products. Is it really possible to understand that though? Just because everybody, I mean, if if you followed a sequence of pages, mm -hmm. this page takes this amount of time. Typically, this page takes this amount of time. Typically, I think you could do that if if the original site plan was set up. I think that that would be, um, I think that'd be really cool, actually. I was trying to think, I wonder if you could do it in an entire day. If you had one whole day, could you build everything for the lead magnet, the entry point offer, and the core offer, and the emails that go with it? I think you could if you had everything down in front of you. Well, that's what I'm saying, is if there was a, a standard... Um, uh, just like you, you created with that or had that yesterday, here's the, here's the structure for a high converting, highly converting uh, website, right? I think or that's what I'm going to I'm going to build a template for the high converting website. Because you plus one could use one. Right. Right man could use one. Every client could use one. I think that's the goal here then. Yeah, because the other side of that is then you could produce to it. In other That's words, my thought is I could sit right. there. Well, you could produce could to it, obviously, pay. but we could produce to it, too. In other words, we could supply content to mm -hmm. it, right? It's much easier to, you know, I mean, it's not for lack of ideas or lack of content, actually. It's for, probably for lack of organization of the material. So if there was a, if there's a, um, process flow that becomes much easier to produce to. Then it's a, a tick list. What do you need now? I, I agree. I need 800 words that's, you know, towards this. I need 300 words towards that. Because this becomes the information needed pretty much right here. Right. Your that's, name. that's again, that's why in the messages I sent after yesterday were that was kind of the reason for it. It's like, well, if I know what you need, it's much easier to give you what you need. Right. Um, right. But I mean, we're taking off the, the general who. Right. Um, and for a home page, you can actually pick three avatars max. Um, primary call to action. What do we actually want them to do? Secondary call to action. The life cycle, which is going to be where they are in their brand cycle. Are people aware of the problem, but not the solution? That's a really tough space to be. Where the solutions are available, but not your specific product or service. Um, aware that product services are like yours, but need a good reason to choose yours, and then fully aware of your brand and just need a reason to engage at a new or different level. This would be Apple. We're just gonna buy your product. Just let us know what's available that we need to go stand in line and purchase. Right. Uh, statement of value. Can we start up. there? Can we get everybody <laughs> to start there? Hey, just that's where you just want. I just, you know, you're Scott, you're you plus one. You just want to stand out there and be like, you know what? Today we're selling this product, and you're gonna wait in line for it for the next three hours. That's exactly it. Just because we're us, you're gonna you're gonna take all these actions. <laughs> um, list of jobs to be done is the actual job that needs to be done. That's like my hair literally needs to be trimmed. My B 
beard literally is like a lion. I just need to cut it all up. Um, relevant metaphors. That's interesting. That's kind of going back to how we were describing social media. Right. If somebody, especially like U plus one is a great example. U plus one could stand to have a great metaphor that explains exactly what it's there. So I think that U plus one is a small um, help, like the the concept and the story behind the actual name. Mm -hmm. Uh, But having a great metaphor that's like, oh, you know, like LinkedIn is like the conversations you would have going up the elevator. I mean, that was almost perfect right there. Right. Um, Customer quotes and comments. So quotes is always one of, um, I've actually been a little, I I don't know if I just never paid attention because I, ADD and I tend to do a lot of things at once. Um, but Ryan explained it really well this last A current customer that's happy with you, what they would say to make another person buy that quote. That's a handy quote to have in your pocket. Right. Um, because it's how somebody else would explain you because we're too close to it, right? We're way right. too close. Well, that's, the, that's the thing that that I say a lot about you plus one is let us be your third party advocate. You telling me you're awesome is self-serving. Me telling somebody you're awesome is a service, Uh, you know, and you're awesome in either case. So it's not about the being awesome or not. It's about who's making the presentation. You got to have raving fans and, and folks that just go, you know, that's why one of the, you know, with our travel passport, one of the friends that was using it came back and she said, can I record a banner ad video for you? I was like, yeah, I remember sure. that you were saying. And so, I mean, she came back and she said, hey, you know, for what I normally have to pay more than double the price for, I now got for less than half the price, which allowed me to actually take advantage of that. And stay and do two days of business as opposed to only one. I was able to meet so many people. Not only did I save money, but I got more efficient with my business because of it. I highly encourage you to take a look at this product as well. Interesting. Yeah. So in, and, and she called and asked if she could do that for us. And to which I said, hell yeah, absolutely. Um, because that's what, but I say the, you know, it's, it's funny because it goes back to Sean and I had this conversation yesterday. We're not a prophet in our own hometown. No matter how good you are, no matter how, there's a pretty good book that says that too, by the way, but no, say the, it again, I don't think I you're not a prophet. It. You're not a prophet in your own hometown. In other words, it's like a exa- guru. Is that how you're using the word prophet? Yeah. You know, okay. I mean, like kids, don't listen to their parents, but if a friend of their parents says the exact same thing to them, the kid goes, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Wait a second. I've been saying this this whole time, right? So you're not a prophet in your own hometown. You sit there and say, do you have any idea what you could do? You know, um, you've done 2,000 speaking events, and so you, you helped give somebody a speaking tip, and they go, yeah, but, you know, we're friends. <laughs> Yeah, I know we're friends. That's why I'm trying to help you, you know, but it's because you're friends, right? Now, somebody else says the exact same thing to them and they go, oh, yeah, that's brilliant. It's actually one of the things that that Sean and I came together with on U plus one. So I've become his cheerleader. He's become mine. Because if we talk about our, uh, the, the issue is neither one of us talk about ourselves, typically. And see, I don't think people understand that does not work. No, I know. Well, which is why we, so you, again, that's kind of why we came together is to, so that we could be each other's cheerleaders and, and work to help out. It's the same thing, you know, no matter how good you are, you really need somebody else to share that messaging. That makes sense. Which is why the entrepreneurial space sometimes is tough. If you're chief cook and bottle washer, If you're doing everything within your business, who's promoting you? Probably you. That's true. So again, this is why I I always have, that's why um, referred credibility, like being part of the business growth network 
well, there's an implied credibility or you wouldn't be part of that group. That's why you join associations. That's why you join communities, things like that. That makes sense. Now the best, um, whenever you're on stage, I think that's almost why every, um, whenever they do events, they never introduce themselves, not even the same company, somebody from the same company. It's always a DJ. Right. It, it's like, here, let me tell you, let me tell you what I've accomplished. <laughs> Gag. <laughs> let, let me tell you how good I am. Everybody listen up here. Right. You know, nobody cares about that. No, exactly. You wouldn't. And nobody wants to what's interesting is, be, is we say I that, never it, that ever, everybody kind of gets that as soon as you say it. And yet they do it all the time. That's, you see it in networking. <laughs> um, you see it in networking. Somebody just, uh, Ellie, uh, Eli just said, you caught my attention with the CrossFit site. The um, CrossFit yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just looking here and actually what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, one of my own pages. Um, so where did I go in here? Core funnel. Did I create a new template yet? Oh, I didn't because I, I selected out of it. So I'm actually going to go into my own core funnel. The only thing downside about mine um, is that it is rather dark, in my opinion. Is it website creation page? Dark in what meaning? Um, so brighter web pages tend to convert better. Um, See how like I have white on dark. Um, that doesn't tend to do well. Whereas if you've got brighter stuff, but I think in general I'm going to have the best pieces already in here, so it doesn't take me as long to build. And so I'm going to turn this into. Actually, I think <laughs> I need to be in the editing spot. I'm going to turn. Oop, wrong page. That is a great. Thank you, website creation page. So this was kind of as kind of everything page. Like if I didn't want to have to build anything else, I just wanted to delete stuff. So this is going to be high. You, but you can always color change and do all those things oh, yeah. anyway. I don't have, I never have. Screenshot view. I made one for Rayanne. So I'm going to come over here. What am I looking for? Zoom minimize. Not minimize. Zoom out. So minus sign. Oh, you know what? It would be better if I'm in this one. So I just want to have a template image so that I know which template it is when I'm looking at it. Makes sense. Same thing. So let me go back. Okay, so we're going to go back over here, save it as a template. Browse. Choose. Desktop, screenshot. I did not organize this picture so it would be all out of whack. That's okay. I'll breathe and accept it. All right, so now that is now become a template page. Now, I don't think you can do that on the lowest level of Kyvio, um, but you can do it on all the other ones. So let's add a page. Let's see how this works. Hi, birding home page. I'm going to call it a sales page because to me that's exactly what it is. It's ultimately just generally selling and moving people around. I bet it's on page two over here. There it goes. So let's do that. And here and they'll have a home page done and ready. Nice. Template. All right, so now we're over here, but again, I said this is really dark, and I'm not even sure I have the know-how to make this all. I'm kind of just assuming there's CSS on the page, but I don't even know that. 
I don't see anything specific. So let's try, let's start with the header up here so it's not so dark. See if I am capable of changing it. Awesome. Well, with background color transparent. So, oh, you know what? Transparent, let's make it white. Boom, that wasn't too hard. Top That's margin. That's fairly easy. Logo is good. Um, doo -doo -doo. It's going to click over to my main website. Tagline, I don't need. Menu on the right. Style 5 is fine. Menu colors. So menu color for the majority. Hover color red. Text color red. But you know what? Those are not showing because I'm positive each one of these has probably got some custom color override. It's cool. So, Volume color. Let's make that transparent. Ah! Mommy. Bella. Okay, I'm working, Bella. Come here. We're going to see if we can build with a child. <laughs> what did you I the chair. I herded you on the chair. Okay, give me a suitcase. <laughs> okay. How dare you? How dare I? Okay. <laughs> Are you done then? Okay, come on. Right here. Mommy's still got to work. So we have it in red now. So I think it's now following. Following the pattern. Yeah, I think it's going to do that once we click it. So yeah, it's turning good. white, though. I don't want it to turn white on hover. So let's see if I can change that in page options. Go, go, go. At home if you're a mom. Um, page options, topography, sans. That's not my color or that's not my thing. We'll go back to low. My font, it's not my font. Text color, we in theory want it to be. Oops. C7, one, two, three, four. Put that up on the top. Link color, that's fine. I think this is nice. everything. Link hover color. All right. I'm not sure if I. There we go. For some reason, clicking that works. Is that the last one I have? Home, pricing, and this one. So I'll work on those, making that. So I have a clickable phone number here. Simple code, nothing special. T-E-L, like telephone, colon, and the phone number. Really? You can actually write it that way when they're on a mo mobile, really critical. I cannot not possibly say this enough. On a mobile phone, that all they have to do is push click. And it automatically calls. So somebody doesn't have to like try to write it down and then type it into their phone to call you. Well, we need to add that to the U plus one page. That's awesome. That's cool um, to see. That's why I want to create one template because then we just go in here and change the colors and the numbers. Nice. All right. I think so that's they a great idea. It's a, uh, is that specific to Kyvio or is that? The code is simple. No, that's across everybody. Okay. Um, up here in Evernote. Yeah. I even make my yeah. telephone number here clickable. Um, let's see if I, oh, I gotta go to a link here. I gotta remember how everything works on all the different, if I edit, you can see it's telephone and I even put dashes in it. No, I like that. So I could just as easily come through here, take it. So I've put um, brackets around the first three before and it still works. Oh wait, no, it doesn't love me now. I'm just going to cancel, not messing it up. <laughs> Keep the dashes in Evernote. Keep the dashes in Evernote. <laughs> uh, those little things make let a the, big difference. And yep, let the code be code. Let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. Are you transparent? Hover color will make red. Text color uh, will make that white. Oh, wait. No, we want the text color to be red, and then we want the hover text to be white. Nice. There we go. I'm just going to override it. That way I get what I want. Transparent, red. Oops, not white. Red, white. And then that one switches to orange instead of white. Alrighty, so that is there. So if that would be if I um, 
if my primary target is to be called. Right. Uh, hmm. What would generally be any company's first? I would almost say, though, that it is. Um, it would be schedule, don't you think? What For most be, people? What they schedule want to have happen first? Yeah, the, the first call no, to action? What is the, the thing? Yeah, what is their main core to action where you, you know you are the. Somebody hits your web page and they're like, I just want to buy it. I want to hear your BS. I want to buy. Buy now. I mean, if, if you really want to go through the order of how anybody would want, everybody would want somebody to purchase something from them with no interaction other than somebody showing up on the site. That would be the first thing that they would want. Once it's, it's a lot easier to work with somebody who already has a buying experience with you than somebody who doesn't. Yeah. So the first thing you want them to do is sample whatever that means. Let me go over so here. It could be get, get the lead magnet to then buy, to then upsell, to then whatever, whatever that process is. There, my Evernote screen. So we're going to look at some options. Um, the only thing that I don't like about the example that Ryan put together was that they're predominantly, you know, based around his business, right? Right. Which is online, um, you know, memberships and stuff of that nature. So let's go over here. Let's add Evernote up to the screen. Hi, Eli. Eli and I were talking. He does like T-shirts and stuff. Oh, very cool. Um, let's see. So I've got this. So some of the examples, um, here's Angie's list. They have the phone number first, um, but join now is the button. So in theory, join now, I think would be over on the right. Well, that's the, yeah. I mean, join now, in essence, you're making a per per uh, purchase yes. of connect of that becomes your spot for information. That's what join now means. I mean, it's a sale. It's it's just washio a different classification. What's that? The um, Washio, theirs is join today too. Sign in. We were discussing join today should be on the right. Sign in should be on the left. BB, there's a name. Call, buy, and sell. Moz, log in. But they have like, they've broken it down into two. Humans categorize, and then they are everywhere. Slack, so here's um, the different life cycles. Well, let me go ahead and look at see where they're at. Uh, this was all Slack. Sign in, sign up for free. That's their EPO. Sign up for free. The first one um, was assuming someone was already a customer. Right. Sign in still, sign in. Okay. Top menu. Here is examples of the ideal top ones. I think that's these. Right? Nope, that's metaphor. Metaphor was critical. Here we go. Top menu. So Washio, sign in, join today. Plastio, get started and sign in. Got junk was the phone numbers, the primary thing. Call us. Co-schedule, sign up for free now. That's their EPO. Request a demo. That's kind of like another EPO. Uh, that one's bad. All right. So uh, kind of a get started entry, entry point offer. Um, phone call and existing yep. sign-in membership. Hmm. So this is one of those, I think it would be better. Oh, wow. Did I have like four screens? That's kind of cool. Yeah. 
You got three screens. Now you got two. Um, if I'm doing it generally speaking, I would want somebody to schedule. Start now and take them to a scheduling page or... Um, well, it depends on what, what's your EPO. No, that's what, a good question. I'm going to go with schedule now. The general, um, if somebody is selling um, trials, it should be start a free trial now. If you are right. um, a speaker, it's going to be set up, you know, a discovery call now. Um, if you're you know, directly selling an object, especially a consumer product, not too expensive, it's going to be buy now. Right. Just take them straight to the purchase. But again, if you're selling something really expensive, like let's say a hundred thousand dollars, even five thousand dollars, it's going to be something smaller. Uh, apply now, something of that nature. Totally agree. Again, if it's if there is a an offer that they can purchase, you know, it's. A hundred bucks or below, probably, right? It's buy now. You, you, again, it's like anything else. But if you're going to talk about, you know, if you're a coach and you're talking about a, you know, you don't coach one time, you coach over a period of time. You want to have those conversations to match match the potential client with the coach. So it would be schedule now. Schedule a call, a discovery call now. Yeah. See, that's when we were talking about Dwayne's, you know, the construction business. The first thing you need is a discovery, a discovery appointment, right? Yeah. You got to have a conversation about what you really want. He's got to be able to see if what he has matches what you want. But that's a conversation. Has to, there has to be a conversation. You can't learn that all by searching through the information that's on the site. That's true. So I think that becomes the, it almost is, to me, it makes sense that the level of uh, commitment determines what that says. No, I agree. I think that's going to be like the hardest part where somebody is actually going to have to think about it. And then there's no other way around that. So I think five is going to be the max you should have. Um, here would be the second CTA. I'm almost tempted to just say second TCA. Pricing. I'm just going to have them all go to the same page right now. Pricing. This is going to be home. Um, what, uh, one's going to be blog. Right, of some sort, some other content. I'm going to say services in general. Again, that could be a little different for everybody. Right. Um, this little code right here, this takes them, if you click on it to a certain area in the page that has some HTML code on it, it basically takes them right down to where the pricing menu is. So we're HTML code that just drives it to a certain spot. No arguing, guys. Such a perfect example of what happens when you're working at home with kids. Yep. All right, the next stage, let's go back to that high converting home page, or um, you can't see Evernote, let's go over to this one. Is going to be start the background image of something that is the after. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a normal, like a nice wide block. I'm going to actually go to Visme because they have a nice collection and I can choose my own nice. picture on. Um, I like relay that, but besides being a little slow yesterday, like glaringly slow when it came to pulling from their stock photography. So this is um, the one that I did for that uh, refined men's hair salon. So kind of generally the same size-ish. And I'm just going to come change the graphics. So what is the after effect of an agency? You, you broke up there. I didn't hear what you asked. 
the after effect of somebody who's worked with an agency is business owner. Let's see what I can pull up. So they get to just work, right? And do their thing. They don't have to market. Yeah, done for you marketing. Business overflow. Pick and choose your clients. How do you display that? In an well, I got you. I don't know. I'm thinking. Think of, you got to think of the words first, then assign it. I mean, part of that is, you know, massive revenues, business growth. So, you, you know, you could have the arrow going up, business arrow going up, revenues going up. On a revenues, beach. Revenues going up while you're on a beach. She's not happy though. If she was like kind of smiling or something. Um, almost like somebody on a computer on a beach would be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it's there are shots of people sitting with their feet up, their computer on their yeah. lap, and being on a beach. Work by choice, not by have to. A lot of times when I'm looking at st at uh, photography sites, I'll put in things like that. Choice. Choice. And see what they've categorized in there. And put some rubber duckies. Or wealth. Or... Ease, you know, take some of the words and see what shows up. Other people have thought about this before us. Right. The problem is the actual photographers tend to be so literal. Man, tie, watch. Yeah. They're not using descriptive words like we would want to use. I think I got, I got cars and mansions. Not quite money. It looks like she's paying it out, though. I think. So the general thing here, one thing that he said here um, that I thought was interesting is when you do your stock, not to go ahead and buy it. Just take a screenshot off of Getty's images, Getty images and just try it out. And then have a couple people look at your page, and if they like it, then buy it. That makes not sense. Not stealing it, just while you're not sense. using it, test it before you buy. Because some of the Getty images are way expensive. Well, um, that's so what I'm, I'm going to put. I'm looking at a site here. You know, it's got. You know, I put in business success is what I search for. There are pictures of people with thumbs up. There are people, you know, hands in the air. There's a group high five. There's a group holding up a trophy. You know, it's just getting that image of success. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to try this one just to get something out the door. Um, later on for my own page, um, and maybe even for this one, I will find a good girl laughing on Getty's images. Again, that's one of those I do want to spend a little time before I'm purchasing an image. Um, the nice thing about Design Pickles, I don't have to purchase Getty Images. I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah. They, I, I bought a package with that included that, so that makes me very happy. Nice. So, but I'm just going to go up here and block settings, background image, um, backgrounds. I have a whole folder just for all the backgrounds I'm running. And you can see the backgrounds that I've tended to choose, and I'm, I'm an agency owner, we tend to choose like we're working, but that's not what people want to do. They want the after effect. And then I have a background effect right. um, that I can still use, just maybe not right there. Um, have it fit. Nope, we're going to fill it. There we go. 
Um, so it can always be more and we can drag that space out, but then I'm going to add an overlay and I'm going to do white because we kind of discussed brighter, whiter space and you can change the opacity on that. That's one of the images I just saw. That's funny. Great minds to go back. I mean, um, so it is funny. It literally is one of the images that I just saw on a different background image. location. Attention getting headline on should go here. That is so cute. I did buy you that bathing suit. So we have the top menu here. I had some examples. Um, and then um, let me go switch back. We only have five minutes left, but um, I think the headline is a good example and worthy of bringing the Evernote back up. Yeah. To kind of get that right. And this will benefit everybody. Jordan, you just took the regular task for today. All right, let's go back. So here's Evernote. <clears throat> this is kind of what everybody does, and that kind of goes back to our conversation where we talk about ourselves, right, and how ineffective that is. Yeah. Um, I don't know anything about this company based off what they said. We are August. We create interactive video content. So I know they create video content. I don't know for who. Um, man, you could create video content for Facebook. You could create it for companies. You could create it for individuals at their wedding day. Um, it doesn't say a whole lot. Well, it doesn't say we create interactive video content for sales success, for rev for revenue <laughs> growth. For... I think that's getting a little better. Well, so here's but, some ideas. Yeah, um, I like that. Transform your sales team to a revenue generating machine. It's yep. pretty good. I like. I, as soon as I, you popped that up, I saw that one. Chaos, chaos ensuing. Um, but transforming your existing asset into a known desired end result. Um, desired end result for your specific avatar that you're speaking to. Right. Come on, make it easy. All right. Um, that one's really direct. I mean, competitive intelligence for busy marketers. Like, super simple, right? Um, you just have to know what competitive intelligence is. Right? Well, uh, again, you say that. You say that, but that's a that's a market segment that understands those two words. That's what I was talking about. Again, we get so complex. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Make money, no work. <laughs> you know, I mean, what? right? Yeah. Make and money, grow like, on yeah, trees. We help business owners make money. Um, it's like saying consulting, like you and everyone else, buddy. Uh, well, yeah, that's, that's... Easy, right? Transforming your existing. All right, we're going to go with this one. Transform your. Um, let's go back to so you can see my screen here. And take down Evernote. You can't see my screen, can you? Can you? Well, I can see the Evernote screen. Oh, you see Evernote still. Okay, let's see. Your attention getting headline. Now that's gone. Yeah, I took that one down. Oh, I don't want to frame from Facebook. Let me go back over here and share. I don't know why it wasn't working, but it chose not to work. It went black on me. It does its own thing. It realized it's 10 o'clock and it was like, get to work in. That's right. Time's over. Okay. I know. Time's over. I feel like that's like the start of an Eminem song. Yeah. All right. We're going to make this my block. And then uh, what was the thing that I said? Transform your existing asset into known desired end results. Transform your existing business into online revenue machine. What I think I actually might do here is I'm actually going to take that out 
transform your existing asset and to known desired end result. Literally, existing asset yep. into known desired end result. So now we can just look at it and we know exactly what we're looking for here. Yep. Um, I think that's the, the, the vast majority of people, if you ask them a question like that, they can give you the answer. If you have them work on the creative, you know, mm -hmm. what am I really looking for? I think it's a lot harder. That's what we're going to do. CTA one, CTA number two, services, and that's what I mean. This is actually going to become a wide block. Oh, not a wide block. My bad, wrong one. I'm going to make this a normal block. Same image. Oops, don't want to duplicate it. Um, background image. Same one we chose before. And the overlay. Oops. I like it. Right. So I get up a notch. And then I'm going to put this up here. Oh, it's just as. Okay. This is where it's nice to have my just my web designer do something. Formatting, right margin, left margin. Did it work? Oh, that's top margin. That's not what I wanted. Left margin. There we go. I want some space. Looks good. I might even make that small. And centering that. Where's my center block? Here it goes. It helps when you highlight it. A little bit. There we go. So I'm going to actually work on that this weekend. I think that will help us what we're doing in the mornings more than anything. That helps you plus one. That helps Rayanne. That helps Dwayne. Yeah. That helps so that we can start blowing through all the people that we're trying to help and make sure every single person has a high converting homepage. I think that's awesome. Sounds um, like fun. That makes that's a really good, um, and I can even share that with the elite um, digital marketer elite group. Um, yep. I think that would be helpful for everybody. Sharing, right? View plus yep. one. Exactly. Let's help Anybody, some folks. I, want, um, I do want to just point out I've had a terrible morning. I have three kids home from school on a random day off. Actually, only two were out, but then the third one threw a tantrum because I was going to take her to school. And even though the other two didn't get to have to go, um, the dogs are here barking at the dogs they can hear in the, the outside. It's a complete, just chaotic mess. But it just goes to show you, like, seriously, all the excuses that you're trying to find. I don't have time. My home is too chaotic. I don't have an office. I don't have this. I don't have that. There is an answer to every single mountain you're trying to put in your pathway. Absolutely. You know, same thing. I went to an early morning event, uh, couldn't find my car in the parking lot, finally found it, got here right on time. So again, there's already up and running and, and doing things and meeting people and getting ready to do some great things. So now we're off for the rest of the weekend. Now we speak down at the Hilton Anatole this weekend at the Ultimate Sales Summit. So come on and join us. Outstanding. I feel like I need to be there. I'm terrible at sales. It's going to be an amazing event. A lot of fun for the entire weekend. We can make that happen. Very so. cool. Well, you have All a right. great weekend, Scott. Speak well. It you will do. Up. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Have fun, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Jenna. Bye, guys. Bye.